Welcome back to Adobe Photoshop CC. In this tutorial, we're going to learn the power of actions. Actions allow you to automate uh, basically steps uh, for the program. So, uh, in, under the window menu, you will find the actions panel. And uh, if basically with all Adobe software, uh, if you need to find something, go under window and there's actions. Let's go ahead and expand it a little bit here. Now there are some preset actions here you can actually try out. To actually try it out, all you gotta do is click on one of them. For example, maybe the sepia toning, and you just hit play, and it will basically apply a sepia tone layer, uh, which you can further edit and refine. So uh, they're kind of interesting to do. Let's go ahead and Control Z or Command Z on the Mac to undo a couple of times till we get back to where the original state here. And uh, let's create our first action. So what I like to do is I like to resize images. And if we go to image size, you'll see that this document is quite large. It's uh, 4,700 pixels. And what I would like to do is basically any of these images that are all 4,752 to reduce them down to, say, uh, maybe 700 wide. So let's do that. So let's create an action. So you have to open up the actions panel. And you have to basically hit the record button right here to record stuff. Uh, but you need to create a new action first. So you click on this little folder icon next to the trash can, which says create new action, because you have to give it a name. So for mine, I'm going to call it uh, 700 pixels and wide. Call it 700 pixels wide. And um, basically hit record. You don't have to adjust any of these other things here. Now, anything that I do in the scene here will actually be recorded. So what I'm going to do is go to image size, and I'm going to slowly reduce this in increments. So typically it's best to do this if you're going to do uh, image size reduction by hand here. So I'm going to do 4,000 pixels and click OK. Then I'm going to repeat image size, and I'm going to go probably in increments of uh, 500. So I'll go 3,500. The reason why I'm doing this is Photoshop works better with reduction through smaller increments rather than, you know, jumping down to 700 pixels, basically. So each time I'm just going image size, going down the next level, so 2,500. Click OK. Image size. And we'll go 2,000. Click OK. Go image size. And we'll go 1500. And we're just repeat one more time. Image size 1000. Getting close. Image size. We'll do one last one for 700 at this point and click OK. At this point, we are done. We can now hit the stop button. And what will happen is right here, you can see the little steps. If I close that little arrow here, it shows you all the steps here collapses them. So that is my new action created. So right now, if I go to image size, this is 700 by 467 pixels. It's a little close to a thousand K here. So it's quite small. So let's open up a new document and uh, give this another try here. So open up this one, which again has that same sort of width dimension. If we go to image size, it starts with 4752. So all I gotta do to create the action is select this action and hit play. And just like that, bam, it's done. <laughs> so if I go to image size, you'll see here 700 by 467. Pretty cool, right? So enjoy actions, experiment, try out other actions. Of course, it'll accept adjustments. Pretty much anything you do on the stage here will be recorded. Um, and you, of course, you can always try out the actions that are in here. Typically, I use them for reducing the image size. So have fun until next time at Adobe Photoshop CC. Cheers.